So that was a silicone-y silicone kind of feel to it, but that's all right. I'm not mad. Oh, what was it saying about myself? Oh, yeah. So, 47, military kid, grew up in overseas, um, mainly Japan, but I've been through different states. South Carolina, New York, now I'm in Florida. All y'all stalkers, don't even try it. Um, what else do I need? Oh, look, more purple. What else? My natural hair color is not black. It is actually a auburn brown. And it washed my skin out, made me look really older than I really was, so I decided to go dark. Anyhow, that's my life on that. I'm going to move you over a little bit. Um, so, I will pull this primer, we'll see how that works. Going in with my concealer, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, blind as hell. What color is this? Vanilla? I don't know. I, I honestly cannot. For the Radiant Creamer, I don't put a whole lot. Um, I don't like a lot of makeup. I like just enough to smooth me out, just enough to kind of shape my face a little bit, and something I can t not put on and not touch ever again. So we're going to go in with my dark circles and take that same sponge that I put all the rose water on and just kind of buff it in. Yes, can you see my dark circles? Of course you can. And I just kind of go around and kind of beat my eye like I'm going to make more wrinkles because that's what I need. Oh, yes, can I see my circles? Yes, I can. I like to do the concealer first because it kind of blends in better with my um, foundation. I like the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and I have no idea what color this is. Nude. Nude. Um, I do have oily skin. Oil in here. Oil. My eyes are oily. I have a lot of texture here, but it's oily. Not, um, not so much that it's a problem. It's just, it's oily. I do have large pores. Large pores. Large pores. Um, texture down here. Texture in here, texture in here. Uh, probably can't see it. Yeah. A lot of stuff on my nose. I feel like there's somebody in here with me. I need them to quit. Like, what are we doing? Okay. So I take one full pump and a half. One full pump and a half. Not a whole lot. And then I take my finger. I know this is gross. Dap it on places where I really want it. I don't really put a whole lot on my forehead um, because why my, my hair is kind of covered up. And then I just kind of go in and I'm buff it in. Buff it, smear it, whatever. We're done with this. With this huge ass. Oh, yeah, this is. Getting to be a shit show today. I don't even know if this is the right color match for me. Honestly. I don't even care. As long as it evens out my tone. I feel like that's a lot. God bless. Usually I don't look this cakey. But alright. So the trick with the poreless, the Peach Perfect poreless, whatever this foundation is, is that once you lay it down, that's it. You're done. You cannot add to it because it'll ball up. Oh, my eyes are really black. You can't add to it um, because it'll peel. You can't add anything else to it. That's why I like to put my concealer underneath my eyes. Of course, I look like I didn't wear any. That's, that's always a look. Um, then I take my big fluffy brush. I think this is a Royal and Langnickel powder brush. 
BMD 100. I like this. Take my butter bronzer, and I think this is in light. I can't read, and I wish I bought my eyeglasses. Yes, light bronzer from the butter bronzer, the kind that smells like coconut. Kind of swirl it in there a few times, and just kind of just put it around my cheek area, and my temples, maybe I might go down my face, or whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Bring it down my nose, right there. Um, that's it. Now, can you see it? Probably not. Do I care? Nope. Um, I take my ColourPop Fresh and Peachy. I love this. And then a couple swirls. Do it in my cheeks. Kind of like in a round motion. You got some high cheekbones, I know. Um, that's what I do. NARS Orgasm. Oh, just kidding. This is not Orgasm. This is Torrid. I don't know why I thought this was working the whole time. I like this because it has a little bit of sheen. So I just take it on the side and then just kind of buff it in on the side. There's my nice texture. It'll highlight it. It'll be great. It's a thing. Just me just enough. Okay. I don't know. Does that look all right? I'll look washed out. I'll wash that. All right. About my eyebrows. I quit plucking and doing my eyebrows for about six years now. I realized that when you get older, um, your hairs don't grow back. So rather than keep plucking, I just let them go. And then I just take this CoverGirl. Okay, I'm having, I'm having issues. Eye, eye Enhancers, Professional Eye Enhancers Midnight Jazz. This is like a gray tone, cool tone gray. This is like 100 years old. I don't remember when I bought this. I'm assuming it's probably more than 10 years. And then I just kind of fill it in and brush my eyebrows because I have bushy brows and they're everywhere. So I don't pluck, I don't trim, I don't know like that. Because I've learned it looks better natural. I don't even do in between because why? I don't have any there. Um, so today what I'd like to go in with is the Too Faced Born This Way palette. The natural, natural palette. Take my big fluffy brush. I don't know what this is because there's like no marking but it's like a big Bush, bush. I will tell you, and I'm going to go in with this little light color right here, that I have small eyes. My eyeballs are small. My eyelids are small. They're one lid that it, oh, you know what? I forgot eye primer. Little damaging. That's all right. Let's be real. We're not going to look pretty all day. Um, I just covered my whole eyelid. Only do that if I had eye primer, which today I don't. Use the step. Um, I don't have definition in my eyes, so I take whatever I have and kind of create it. Um, then I'm going to take the Too Faced Hot Butter Cream and Rum. Yes, it smells like that. And I'm going to use this yellow and then this orange. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush, take this uh, Sigma Tapering Blending Brush, and um, take this yellow, take the yellow tap, and kinda go and fill in where I think my eye would actually have a crease, but I don't. And it's basically the mountain of my eye where it comes out. And then just kind of pour it in. And then take this nice burnt color and then go right in with the same brush because I can't be bothered and just buff that in my eyelid. Ooh. Oops. Oops. Mm. Okay, I'm going to need a. Mm. 
Like I can't tell I'm wearing anything because my eyes are so small. My eyes are so small. So small. There. There we go. Then I'm going to take the um, Sigma E25. It's like a flat tapered um, brush. I'm going to take, I'm going to go back. Wait, I'm going to first take some of this burnt orange color and run it. Two thirds of my eye. Two thirds underneath my eye. Like I said, I have small eyes, so I can't close it all the way in. And then I'm going to go in with back to my Born This Way palette and go in this dark, dark brown. This last top. Turn around. Take it in this color. And then just kind of go up a third and then a little bit of the corner of my eye. Do that again, tap. And then fill it in. I'm gonna put some of this in my eye. Go back in that fluffy, go back and blend that out with that yellow. And then, oh, blend, blend. Go back in with that orange a little bit, kind of fill it in. And then go in back in that little brown. Uh, just for the record, I'm not doing Instagram makeup. I don't have life. I don't have that kind of patience. So now I'm gonna go in with my double decker lashes from Butter London. I love this stuff. I don't have eyelashes, so if you could see from the side, I really don't have eyelashes. So what I need is length. Um, this is what it gives me is length. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of go in and gently put it in because Now, I look like I have um, eyelashes. I would go in with my, um, just to make them thicker, because I know I have length. I would go in with my Am mm -hmm, Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay something, something. I don't know, it's the wooden mascara. And I can't get the lid off. Good. I'm not really supposed to pump it, but I do. Because I don't know. I'm not a professional. And I kind of just get the tips of my lashes so that it'll reach over my mountain of an eyelid. There, yay! I don't put it on my bottom lashes because that's a hot mess. Okay, and then I take it so I don't transfer and blink on my eye, on my fingers, so that it'll... Here. Now, I can put the brushes away. Put that away, put that away. Now I'm going to take the... Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm gonna take the Melted Matte, two, the Too Faced Melted Matte Oh, what the hell color is this? The girl, gingerbread girl. I'm gonna take the gingerbread girl. And just kinda. Mm 
-hmm. I wish I could eat this. Oh, good lord. All right. Gingerbread girl. And then I'm going to blot, but I need some napkins. Don't hate on my fingernails, I'm not done. All right. Ooh. Then I'm going to take Kat Von D's, uh, I don't know what this is, Lolita Velvet Cream something, I don't know, it's the new one. And then I'm just going to kind of tone it down a little bit. I love this formula. It's really good. Um, yes, I purchased it post Kendo selling her out. And that's my finished look. Yay. Oh, okay, what's going on with my hair? All right, let's fix my hair one more time. There we go. That's the finished look. And then I take my uh oh, Donna Karan Green Apple. Oh my god, that is so good. Where have this been all my life? I just discovered this like last year. I know, slow, slow to the table. But that's right there. Hey, finish look. Okay. Um, and there we go. So, that is. Uh, what I do basically every day. I might change up my eyes. I do different palettes um, But basically it's going to be the same setup. It's going to be a flush of color medium and then middle um, I go from light to dark and then The lip it just depends on what I'm wearing for the day. So that's what I got folks um, You want to hit that subscribe button. You don't have to hit the bell notification because if you want me you'll find me um, and that's all I've got. I'll see you next time. Thanks.